You're coming here to the airport, you have to have a face mask once you enter and you can see they are making sure passengers know that they have signs on the door reminding you to have that face covering along with washing your hands and social distancing. And of course, this will be required in all terminals. The new policy is following guidelines from health officials and the city policy of requiring face coverings in stores and restaurants. Anyone who does not have a face covering will be asked to put one on, uh, but you can remove them for a short time to eat or drink and then must put it back on again. TSA agents may also ask you to remove it uh, during screening process. Now, face coverings can be masks, scarves, or bandanas, and we did speak to passengers this morning who say they are on board with wearing them. I think it's helping everybody out as far as what's going on, but I um, uh, hope everything goes good as far as the face mask and people take it seriously. It's not so bad. I mean, you know, I feel like I can barely breathe, but <laughs> it's not too bad. Also today, you'll need to start wearing them on Metro. That means rail or bus. MTA will enforce the requirement to the best of their ability and is looking for ways to provide coverings for riders. This came about after bus operators had concerns about their health and that of essential workers on board. Now back here live, various airlines, United and Southwest are requiring face coverings as well. Others are strongly recommending it. So you should check with your airline so you know ahead of time.